Hi, Clayton. I have an interesting question. I'm 22 and I'm buying property number one this year. I'll be renting one to two rooms out to cover expenses. I can put 20% down, but it might delay the home purchase three to four months. Should I buy now with a smaller down payment or wait to have 20%? I'm interested in turnkey too, but I'm not sure it would be in my price range of 100,000 or less. Thanks, Clayton. Well, thanks, Sage. Well, first of all, uh, you know, for like turnkey for us, like at Morris Invest, like our, our property is all new construction in the best school districts in the country, in the most landlord friendly states in the country. Our down payment is going to be about 40, 45,000 and then financing the rest. So if your price range, if you've got like 100 to work with, that would get you two cash flowing brand new rental properties. So I'm just saying that. I don't know if the 100,000 is like the total price amount. So you're looking to put down 20,000, then that would be a little bit outside of that price range, which I understand. Um, look, interest rates are starting to move upward. Uh, looking at the data, interest rates, housing starting to slow because interest rates are starting to tick up. Interest rates are starting to move and they're going to go higher as inflation continues. The Federal Reserve is facing hyperinflationary period that's going to be coming. They are, they've, they've said that they are going to allow inflation to run hot for as long as it's run cold, <laughs> which means it could be a two years where they might allow inflation to run hot, which means interest rates will go up. That means the cost of things will increase as they already are. I'm sure many of you have noticed the cost of gas and cost of eggs and milk and meat and everything else is going up. Interest rates are going up as well, which will slow this uh, scorching housing market right now from a retail perspective. And I like to say there are two different markets. There's the investor housing market, which for us doesn't really matter much or have much tie to these broader issues. Yes, interest rates from a conventional financing perspective definitely has a, has a factor, but not very much. But from a retail perspective, like you are living in this home primarily as yourself and your family, you're moving to a, a different state, that's going to slow things down significantly. Remember in 2019, in the fall of 2019, when interest rates went up just one point, the housing market came to a screeching halt, went from like three and a half up to like four and a half, almost 5% in a short amount of time. And the housing market stopped. People just stopped buying houses. So millennials that could afford that three and a half percent interest rate, now we're suddenly looking at a four and a half percent interest rate. And that could mean a lot more on your overall mortgage that you're paying to a bank. So I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you one way or the other. What I can tell you is that the Federal Reserve has admitted that they're going to start looking at the tapering process. And the tapering process means they are going to stop or slow down buying up all of these corporate junk bonds on Wall Street at a clip of about $140 billion a month. That might drop down. If that starts to drop down, that means that they're pulling their, their stimulus basically back from Wall Street. Interest rates are going to start to go up as they're trying to stop this or trying to keep this inflation in check a little bit over 2%. I can tell you that's what's on the horizon from the Federal Reserve. So I would use that as a gauge about where these interest rates are going to go. They're going to continue to go up. Um, I hope you find that helpful. I can't give you advice one way or the other to say, go buy something now, or don't. we don't give advice like that here on the show. But I do want to give you the larger macroeconomic conditions about what's about to happen uh, in the market. So if it were me and I was looking at trying to lock in lower interest rates right now, I would want to pounce on something sooner rather than later. That's me personally. So I hope you find that helpful, Sage. Any other questions anyone has, you can always leave us a voicemail question here. Try to keep into about 30 seconds. Just go to morrisinvest.com slash Clayton. Leave us your questions and I will try to provide some answers. Now go out there and take action. Become a real estate investor. I believe it's the number one way to build wealth and to preserve wealth. Take care, everyone.